Hello, everyone. We are from the School of Computer Science and Software Engineering at Shenzhen University. The title of our group's paper is "Accelerating the Decentralized Federated Learning via Manipulating Edges in Complex Graph." Firstly, let's introduce the classical training process in federated learning. As shown in Figure A, each agent trains a local model and shares its model parameters with the central server. Subsequently, the server updates the model and sends it back to the agents. However, federated learning encounters challenges such as non-identically distributed problem, time delay of communication, communication bottlenecks, and trust bottlenecks, as shown in Figure B. A reasonable solution is to employ the distributed training using decentralized devices. Therefore, the following introduces a decentralized federated learning solution, as shown in Figure. This approach eliminates the need for a centralized server and allows agents to exchange model parameters only with their neighboring agents. By doing so, the distributed framework provides a more scalable and efficient solution. DFL can be applied in various scenarios, such as social networks (Figure B), the healthcare sector (Figure C), and others. Our primary focus is on understanding how decentralized federated learning accelerates. However, DFL will also face various challenges. Can DFL convert to a stationary point? How to accelerate the convergence speed? How to design an efficient DFL? To address these issues, I propose my optimization solution. The optimization problem is how to accelerate the DFL based on structure manipulation. Find the optimal set S that, when added, could accelerate DFL. By given adjacency matrix and budget number. Next, a brief presentation of our experimental results. As illustrated in Figure Three, we conducted edge addition and removal operations on the original network structure, with results depicted in Figure One. Indicate that our proposed method SSEO plus outperforms existing methods across all graph instances simultaneously. We conducted an analysis of the algorithm's time complexity, as illustrated in Figure B. Due to the computation being performed only once, the time overhead is negligible. Thank you all for your attention. For detailed information, please refer to our paper.